Hey everybody, my name is Gardner and this is DIY Cloud. Today we're going to be talking about Jitsi, which is an open source project that lets you build and deploy your own end-to-end -end encrypted video conferencing solution. We're going to get Jitsi set up today using the Linode Marketplace, uh, the one-click app. So let's go ahead and do that. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really helps our channel out, especially if you like the kind of content that we're doing here. And while we're at it, you can hit that like button as well. So the very first thing that you're gonna need to do is click on your username and go to my profile and then select API tokens. And we're gonna generate a personal access token. We're gonna to make sure that it has access to our domains. And we're gonna hit, uh, we're gonna give it a name. We'll call it uh, Jitsi and then we're going to say Jitsi domain and we're going to create the token. We're going to copy this. Once we click close, we're not going to be able to see this again. Now we'll go over to marketplace and we're going to find Jitsi in this list right here. And we'll scroll down and paste in our uh, domain token here. So first up, let's set our subdomain. Let's say meet. Uh, so that we're when we type in meet.linodians.net, we're going to come up with our uh, Jitsi server. Linodians.net. Then let's set our admin email. Uh, so we'll just say, uh, let's say yes, we do want to have a certbot SSL certificate. Then we're going to create a user uh, who is not root. Uh, typically when a Linode is created, it's created uh, with a root user. Um, and it doesn't have any other users on the system. Once we put in our information here, we're gonna actually be creating a Jitsi user. Let's, so let's go ahead and say Jitsi uh, user, why not? And we're gonna enter a password as well. Uh, now we're gonna open up a terminal and we're gonna create an SSH key uh, to use for our SSH here. You don't necessarily have to do this, uh, but I'm going to. So let's just type in SSH keygen. And uh, sure, we'll save it there. I don't have one created on this system. And you can create a password here if you'd like. It's generally a good idea to create a password. And there we go. Now if we do cat uh, .ssh id rsa.pub this is our public uh, SSH key. We're just gonna copy that and paste it in here, right here. And now we're being asked if we wanna disable root access over SSH. We can say yes, that is the more secure option. Uh, next, we're gonna select our image. Ubuntu 20.04 is actually the only image we can use for this app. Uh, we can select our region. I'm gonna choose Newark, New Jersey since I'm in the Northeast United States. Now you can select lower resource Linodes here, uh, but the documentation recommends you use at least eight gigabytes if you're gonna plan if you're planning on hosting large meetings. This will be plenty of speed uh, for what you need to do with uh, Jitsi here. Now we can give it a custom name. You Jitsi US East is fine with me. Uh, we don't need to add any tag tags. That's completely optional. And now let's type in a password, and we're good. So now we can just hit create. So after a few minutes, our Linode will complete its provisioning phase and we'll be able to boot into it. So we've logged into Glish here. And if we say HTOP, uh, we can see that we are still running some init processes here. With one-click apps, even after it's done provisioning here, uh, if you launch in the console, you'll see that it's still doing some stuff. Um, we're, we're waiting for the Linode to fully boot up and we're gonna give it about 10 to 15 minutes to run all the scripts that it needs to do to complete the Jitsi configuration process. Now seeing these numbers compared to what they were before, I think we're about done here. So let's remember this number, 192.155.82.22. If we go to domains and we click on Linodians, you can see that two A records have been made here. We have meet, which is our current uh, Linode that we just set up as well as meet in the in the IPv6 space. But now we should be able to go to meet.linodians.net and it should pop up with Jitsi just like that. Look at that. Let's start a new conversation. Now this can be anything we want. Uh, Linode YouTube test. Let's hit go. 
and uh, we can give it access to our microphone. Now, if you wanted to invite another person, you could copy this link. And uh, we're going to send this link to our friend Wolfgang. Oh, look, here's Wolfgang. Hey, everyone. Uh, Wolfgang, tell everybody what you do. Uh, I'm a YouTuber. I have a YouTube channel. It's called Wolfgang's Channel. And I talk about Linux, technology, computers, and you know privacy and all that stuff. Nice. And you've got a video on Linode's channel, don't you? Yeah, exactly. So I have a video coming up, or it might already be up. And it's about uh, setting up two-factor authentication on, uh, on a node server on SSH and Nextcloud. Nice, nice. That's awesome. Um, so if you guys haven't seen it, and it should be up by now, and it'll be a link up here in the corner. Um, but, uh, dude, thank you for helping me test Jissy. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. And it's that simple. We only had to create an API key, uh, get the thing set up, and then uh, send a link to our friend. That's freaking cool. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm so glad that you guys are here checking out the Linode YouTube channel. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. If you appreciate the content we do here, hit that like button, maybe ring that notification bell. Uh, but no matter what you do, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.